grueling, thankless job. This is so much fun. Very soon now, even the smallest household pet will die of slow starvation. This is so much fun. This is so much fun. Dr. Otto and the Riddle of the Gloom Beam was a 1986 sci-fi comedy and the first film to feature Jim Varney's character, Ernest P. Whirl. Your old buddy Ernest has really done it now. Credit will be gone. Dr. Otto has plans for world domination with the help of his weapon, the Gloom Beam. The Gloom Beam fires off these electromagnetic pulses that can fry media devices is on credit cards, bank accounts, cash registers. The economy will collapse. <laughs> Dr. Otto wants to use it on all the banks in order to cripple the economy. You know when Fight Club, Project Mayhem, blow it all up? If you erase the debt record, we all go back to zero. Same thing. Do not fuck with us. Dr. Otto was just ahead of his time. We know it. Next time, use the sales service hour. There's some other shit, too, that I won't give away, but um, Dr. Otto can shapeshift. Shapeshift like fucking Shang Tsung for Mortal Kombat, which of course gives way to a host of other characters that Jim Varney performs as. <laughs> He's a madman. The magnetic gloom beam. My most disjunct. Jim Varney kind of got stuck with Ernest, uh, which I always thought was a shame because he had a million other characters and almost all of them were more entertaining than Ernest. Evil Lair, complete with mailbox. The financial capital of Southern Ohio. Now, as far as Ernest movies go, how do you think this movie ends? Because there's no rosy, loose ends, tied, everybody laughs, lives happily, white picket fence bullshit with this one. No, Dr. Otto sets up a twisted riddle that results in our hero pushing the wrong button, which is actually the self-destruct button, which also means Dr. Otto sacrificed himself. This also results in the gloom beam firing one last shot that results in a global apocalypse. Yeah, seriously. The last scene is a wasteland that used to be Earth. What the fuck? Where have you been? We ain't had any gas since the money went bad. So yeah, this is a dark sci-fi comedy that even I have to be in a certain mood to watch. It's just so fucking out there. If you never heard of this shit, let alone seen it, check it out one night. It's off the wall fucking nuts. <laughs> All right, wait, you got to check this shit out. All these years later, this scene still makes me laugh. This is the funniest shit. So Otto's going back to see his parents or foster parents, whatever, and he got them a Christmas present. He's standing at the window watching as they're about to open it. Open it. Maybe we should wait until he's here. No. <laughs> Maybe we can sell it before he comes back. <laughs> All right. Let's see what little Otto got for his loving parents. Be a senator and make the world a better place for everyone. 
feet from that snow. Blah, blah, blah.